in the last lecture we learned how to implement inheritance between two function constructors now in this lecture we will learn how to implement inheritance between two classes now in the javascript class lecture we learned that javascript class is a syntactic sugar of function constructor and prototypal inheritance that means behind the scene a javascript class uses the concept of function constructor and prototypal inheritance so in simple terms we can say that javascript class is simply an abstraction layer over function constructors okay classes are simply a modern way of writing function constructors with simpler syntax so when we make a class inherit from another class in javascript it uses the same concept of function constructor inheritance which we learned in the last lecture keeping all these points in mind let's see how we can make a class inherit from another class here we have this person class and in the constructor of this person class we are setting name birth year and gender property and to this person class we have also attached a calcage method right now what we want here is we want to create another employee class and that employee class should inherit the name birth year and gender property from this person class as well as it should also inherit this calcage method so let's see how to do that let's first create this employee class and to create an employee class first we need to use class keyword followed by a name for the class so let's call it employee and then we use curly braces now in order to make this employee class inherit from this person class we use a keyword called extend okay and then the class which we want to inherit so here we want to inherit this person class so let's say person and in this way we are making this employee class inherit from person class all right now inside this employee class as we learned earlier we should have a constructor function so let's specify that constructor function in the constructor function we set the properties which we want to have you know have for the instances of the class so for example when we instantiate this this employee class we want to have name birth year gender employee id and salary property right so the value for those properties will come as argument for this constructor function so let's specify some parameters where those values will be stored so let's say the name will be stored in this name parameter then gender will be stored in this gender parameter we should also have birth year parameter to store birth year and then employee id and salary all right now this name gender and birth year property we want to inherit from person i mean person class right so to do that what we need to do is we need to call the constructor function of person class and how we will do that that's very simple we have to use a keyword called super and this super simply means the constructor function of parent class so for this employee the parent class is this person class so when we say super it will call the constructor function of this person class that means this constructor function will be called now this constructor function is expecting values for name birth year and gender parameter and we can pass those values from here so when we instantiate an object using this employee class at that time we will pass values for these parameters right and they will be stored in these parameters so let's copy this and let's pass it to the constructor of the parent class that means this constructor all right now here we are not setting employee id and salary property yet okay so let's instantiate this employee class and let's see what happens so let's say let's create this mark object and let's use new operator and then name of the class which is employee and then 
when we say new employee in that case the constructor of this employee class will be called that means this constructor will be called and this constructor is expecting values for these five parameters so let's pass that let's say name is mark mark is male born in 1995 employee id 201 and salary let's say 18,000 okay and let's log this mark object in the developer console so mark if I save the changes and if I expand this mark object you can see this mark object only has birth birth year gender and name property okay and if I expand the proto property and this proto, proto property has another proto property if I expand that you can see we have this calc age method okay so this calc age it is inheriting from this person class all right so here we only have three properties let's also set employee id and salary property and for that we can say this dot employee id equals employee id and this dot salary equals salary and that's it let's save the changes and now we should have birth year employee id gender name and salary property and then in the proto of this proto you can see we have this calculate age method which is in it which it is inheriting from this person class all right now let's also provide the calc salary and employee detail methods for this employee class and we will do that after this constructor function so let's say we have this calc salary method and this calc salary method is simply going to return the annual salary so for that we can say this dot salary multiplied by 12 and let's also have employee detail so emp detail or details and here we simply want to log name and id of the employee so console.log this dot name and console.log this dot emp id and let's save the changes again let's expand this employee object and now in the proto this employee object should also have calc salary and employee details method and in the proto it should have calc age which it is inheriting from again this person class all right so this is how we can make a class inherit from another class and if you notice you know making a class inheriting from another class is simpler than making a function constructor inherit from another function constructor right however keep in mind that when we make a class inherit from another class behind the scenes it uses the same concept of inheriting one function constructor from another function constructor because at the end of the day a class is simply a syntactic sugar of a function constructor okay now one more thing here you need to remember is that when you have when you are you know inheriting from another class in that case inside the constructor function the first line of code should be the call to super that means call to the constructor function of parent class so if i comment this here and if i save the changes you can see that we have an error okay so when a class inherits from another class then you should always call the constructor of parent class and how do we call the constructor of parent class by using super keyword and then providing the name for the I mean providing the values for the parameters which the constructor function is expecting also let's try to move this line of code after setting these two properties okay and now if I save the changes we still have the error and what does the error say must call super constructor in derived class before accessing this or returning from derived constructor that means we should always call a super class before we start setting properties on this variable all right like this 
now if I save the changes everything should work fine so this is all from this lecture thank you for listening have a great day